Hey guys, Balkan Arctic here, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be modeling the Type A 101 in Revit. Now, this is a very important building, it was the tallest building in the world at one point, so I thought it would be cool to try to model this in Revit, and I will be modeling it as an in place mass in a project. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit and I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this project. So here we are. Now I'm just going to go to South Elevation, but before that let's just set the units to meters. Just it's a large building, so let's work in meters and let's just change the scale to 1 to 500 because again it's a large building. And I'm just going to move these elevation points a bit to the outside just in order to have more room to model our building. It's just really a large building. Let's just place it here. Okay, so once we have this, let's go to South Elevation and just set all of our levels. So I won't be doing all the floors. It's not necessary. It has a ton of floors, so it would be kind of an overkill for this quick tutorial. But I'm just, just going to place floors or elevate uh, these floor plans or levels at some characteristic elevations or places on the building. So I'm going to set the first one to 130. That's the kind of the, the first characteristic break where the building kind of changes shape. And let me just make this a bit wider. And yeah, let's set this to 500 as well, just to have everything be a bit bigger. Okay, so once we have this, I'm just going to go here to level or you can use the shortcut LL. So just type in LL and now for the, I'm, I'm going to choose the, the, the pick lines tool and for the offset, let's choose 35 meters. That's the height of those characteristic segments of this building. And let's do eight and no, I didn't start counting. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. There you go. So we have this kind of the bottom segment and then we have these eight equal segments for our building. Okay, so we pretty much have everything we need inside of the project. So now we can go to the massing and site tab and go to in place mass. Just close this off. Let's call it mass one. Who cares? And now let's go to level one. Okay, let's place some reference planes just in order to have some center point of the building. It's it's easier when you can find the center. And now let's create a rectangle. Just make sure that you pl place this on draw and work plane and make sure that the placement plane is at the level at which you're at. And that's level one. So make sure that it says level one here as well. And turn off 3D snapping because it can just kind of mess things up a bit later on. So I just like to leave it uh, 3D snapping off. Okay, so just create a large rectangle, then I'm just going to tab, hit this thing, select it, and place it at 40 meters from this the middle, and then this will be at 80, so the kind of floor plan is at this point 80 by 80 meters, I think. Okay, this should be at 40, and this should be at 42, or at 80, and let's delete this line. Okay, so we have kind of the, the base, so let's move up to level 2. And let's change this to 500 as well, just to make everything a bit larger. Now go to rectangle, make sure that it's level 2, draw on work plane and give it an offset of 10 meters. And then just draw a rectangle inside like so. Okay, once we have this, go again to rectangle and let's create a rectangle that's offset by about one meter. So just some small offset just to make it a different different rectangle. Okay, now I'm just going to choose a line and I'm going to go down here till it goes to about 10 meters and then I'm going to be drawing a 45 degree line. Now I'm just going to be placing lines like so, kind of like that. Let's see. Okay, so this is what you want to have. 
So you kind of place lines like this. We don't need this. Okay, so like this, it has this kind of a edge, kind of a strange style of the edge of the building. So let's create one of these corners. And now I'm just going to use trim and extend to trim this part. So we have that. Now select this, mirror it to the other side, select this here, this as well, mirror it to the other side, and then again use trim and extend just to trim everything in place. So we have this characteristic floor plan or floor plan shape or outline. Now select it and as you can see here we're at level 2. Now we need to copy this up to create the the upper part of this a repeating segment so I'm just going to go here to copy paste align to selected levels and go to level 3 and once I have that let's go to level 3 so this is what we have and just select it go to scale go to numerical choose let's choose 1.2 that works for this project and choose the center point and now it's a bit larger and if we go into 3d this is what we have at this point so select this outer rectangle here and this here and go create form and there you go so we have this form then select these two and then go create form so we have our repeating segment and now we can just select it all so just hover over one of the lines hit the tab key and select it then scroll down go to south elevation and now let's just type in co for copy make sure to check multiple and just go level by level and copy this all the way up. Okay, we need one more. So just go copy, CO. There you go. Okay, so we have the most of the building done. Now let's zoom in over here and let's go back to level one. And for these work planes, I'm going to name this one F slash B so this means front back and this one should be L slash R which means left right so just name these so I'm just going to go back into south elevation go to circle go pick a plane so just go front back okay and create a 10 meter diameter circle over here this is that circle that's at the bottom of the building it's very characteristic so I'm just going to model it here then go create form and for this distance, so let's try 35. I think this will work. Yeah. Then select the inner circle. So you just hover over this, hit the tab a few times, select this, go 70. Yeah, that works. Okay, and do the same thing on the other side. So let's go to west elevation, circle, let's pick left, right. Okay, 10 meters, fine. Go into 3D, select it extrude it, make sure it's a cylinder, at 35 meters, and then select the inner one here, and place this at 70. Okay, so we have that, and let's just do the top of the building, and then we're just going to join everything and have the, the final building. So the antenna is what makes this building the tallest building in the world, or what made it the tallest building in the world at the time of its design. And if you want to learn more about it and to see was this taller than the the Asian financial center in Beijing, I think, is it Beijing? I don't know. I'm just going to leave the link to that tutorial for that building in the description of this video. So check it out if you're interested in that. But anyway, let's go back. Let's just finish this mass off for a second. Go into south elevation and let's create a few more of these levels. So I'm just going to hit create similar. Make one line over here. One line kind of up here and one more over here. Okay, so we have a few of these more done. Now select this, go edit in place, and once you're here, let's go to level 10. And you can just hit VR and turn this to unlimited just to see everything. Go apply, okay. And now let's create a rectangle here, kind of like this. And then we can set this offset at, well, let's do this at 10 meters. This should be at 10 as well. 
then this should be a 20 and this should be it okay it is at 20 fine great so now let's go we're at level 10 at the time i think yeah we're at level 10 let's go to level 11 go again vr set this to unlimited but it doesn't work for some reason okay this is a ceiling plan so again level 11 vr unlimited unlimited apply okay and now again just create a rectangle and let's give it an offset of two meters let's see what this looks like yeah this is fine go to level 20 vr okay again rectangle do it an offset of two meters kind of like that and then let's go to level 13 vr unlimited unlimited apply okay and let's do a smaller rectangle over here let's do something one meter and do the offset over here and then let's do an even even smaller one so let's do something like this yeah okay so we have this let's go now into 3d and now we can just connect all of these so connect these two create form connect the these two create form and connect these two create form and let's do the top of the antenna create form and extend it just make it look proportional yeah maybe a little bit it's hard to select these yeah like that okay and now let's connect our building together so to make it look even better so just go join geometry make sure to check here multiple join and then just go one by one and select all elements and it will just join them in one piece of geometry okay there you go and now if I just go here to realistic this is what we get I'm actually quite happy with this Okay, so there you go. That's how you create the famous Taipei 101 in Revit in place mass. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.